Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, we are going to create the spinning sunburst effect quickly and easily. This tutorial is sponsored by John John Games. So, if you guys are looking for a channel with plenty of content, gaming, and creativity, John Channel is the place to go. You should probably check out some of his socials too, and stay up to date with all his latest content. Loads of stuff to see. You can find all kinds of games on there, some Grand Theft Auto stuff, even a couple of tutorials that even I haven't covered. If you fancy being sponsored in one of these tutorials, just like John John Games, all you need to do is click that join button below and become a sponsor. Now, on with the tutorial. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload on game development to my channel, because there's always loads to see, loads to learn, and loads to do. With that in mind, let's get to work. So the spinning sunburst effect is something you'll see quite often in various different types of not just games but any kind of media. So whether it is actually animated or whether it's a still as is displayed in our texture down here, it obviously it's varied but we're going to have it spinning today. Now you can use pretty much any sunburst texture for this but I would recommend using one which is actually square rather than rectangular. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to add this to our scene. And obviously this is just a fresh scene. There's nothing in here. It's just empty. So I'm going to add in some UI and then go to raw image. So there is our raw image. And I'm going to drag and drop our sunburst texture over here. And I'd say you can use any sunburst texture you want. I mean, if you head to Google, you can find some commercially free ones right there. And all you need to do is just center it in the position. And now you need to make sure that the entirety of this texture goes outside the frame here, which is your canvas. If you have it all inside your canvas, the desired effect will not be achieved. You'll end up seeing kind of through it in the corners. So you just need to make sure that it is indeed large enough. So I'm going to put it as 1450 by 1450. And obviously the larger... Uh, the actual image you have, the better quality it's going to be. I think this is a, a little bit small for what I'm trying to achieve, but the effect is still going to be the same. So I'd say probably look for a higher quality texture than what I'm using. But either way, still going to be the same, like I say. So we want to basically use this to our advantage and make it spin. So it looks like that in our game right now, but we want to make it spin. So a good example of this would be, you know, you've seen it on mobile games where you have that as the background spinning and you've got congratulations, you won or something like that. So to do it, we're going to create a C sharp script. And I'm just going to call it spinner for now. You can call it anything you want at all. So let's open that up in Visual Studio. So what we're going to do is we are going to use the update method. So let's get rid of start and annotations. We don't need them. And we can actually refer to this specific object quite simply because this script is going to be attached to that object. So we don't need to declare it as a variable. However, if you want this script to be on something else, then yeah, you would have to define it as a variable. But like I say, this script is going straight onto our texture. So we type transform lowercase t dot rotate and in brackets we want to rotate on the z or z axis because that is the one which is facing us to make it spin so it's going to be zero on the x zero on the y and then let's put one here for now and we can change what this looks like later on if we're not happy with it and then obviously we need to put the relative here which is space dot world it is important to put space dot world there because it makes everything rotate here relative to the world around you rather than just go off and do its own thing so let's save that one little line of code head back into unity let it compile all good and then we just drag and drop that spinner script onto raw image and press play now that is absolutely crazy so it's a cool effect, I guess, and it's making my eyes go a little bit funny there. So we need to work with what we've created here. Obviously, we need to slow down that spin. So let's put 0 0.1 and then F because it is a float. Head back into Unity after we've saved it. Press play. And now we should see something a little bit more sensible. Perfect. 
So that is how we can create the spinning sunburst effect in Unity. And remember guys, click on the subscribe button, click on that bell icon as well, and you can stay up to date with all kinds of different tutorials. Just there's absolutely loads here. Uh, so I hope to see you around in another one of my videos. Thanks for watching guys.